नमस्ते फ्रेंड्स सो हियर आई एम विथ कॉमेंट के प्रीवियस इयर क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट इन केमिस्ट्री एंड सोल्यूशन so uh, most of the students have asked me to make that comment key sessions remember so i am trying to do it within my free time remember so previous year questions basic concept of chemistry and from solution chapter i have taken fine so if whatever the possible uh, uh, possibility is there that i am doing so please refer this so you definitely will learn some important concept if you like it if you are not subscribed please subscribe to my channel yes now first question we are going to consider so 20 ml of this is the same question which is on limiting reagent which was asked last uh, cet exam also 20 ml of acetic acid react with 20 ml of ethyl alcohol to form an acid ethyl ester that is ester the density of the acid and alcohols are given the limiting reagent of the reaction is remember limiting reagent they are asking you can easily remove two options here because ester never be limiting reagent because this is a product it is not a reagent and both possible to the same extent it is also not possible leave it only two options left so first we will write the reaction so in any limiting reagent concept questions remember first you have to see the reaction so in case of this reaction the reaction is like ch3cooh plus a c2h5oh so give rise to ch3cooc2h5 plus h2o so balancing is not necessary so now The, we have to see that the standard what is the amount reacting. So cal cal calculate the molecular mass of CH3COH. We are going to get 60 gram and uh, ethyl alcohol. If you calculate, you are going to get 46 gram. See your time consume time will consume for you only in such case molecular mass. Remember, hence your that mathematics part will be very strong. So calculate this molecular mass. This is give rise to acetic acid uh, the ester. now density of the acid is given see this is standard standard reaction now we have to see the mass of the acetic acid and this ethyl alcohol is given then how to calculate that very simple see density is equal to mass by volume correct ah now we want mass density into volume we will do see mass of acetic acid mass of acetic acid is equal to density into volume density of acetic acid is 1 density of the acetic acid is 1 gram right so 1 into volume of this is 20 so i will write 20 gram so 20 gram here i will write 20 gram then mass of c2h5oh mass of c2h5oh mass of c2h5oh is how much density is 0.7 into and here also it is 20 gram 20 ml so 0.7 into 2 7 to the 14 so you are going to get 14 gram Correct? Now I will write 14 gram here. 14 gram here. This is given. Standard is this. Now you calculate. See, 60 gram acetic acid need 46 gram ethyl alcohol C2H5OH. So always you have to calculate like this. 60 gram acetic acid react with 46 gram. Hence. 20 gram of acetic acid need how much? This you should you should not take here. You have to calculate how much. See, calculate that. See, 20 into 46 divided by 60. Very simple calculation. 20 ones are 20 threes are right. So three ones are. So here you will get three 15 threes are 45 right. So 15 point something you will get. Fine. So 15 point something required. अर्थ मिफ्टी रिक्वयर्ड बट गिवन इज मच फोर्टी ग्राम हेन्टली आंसर हियर इथल अलकोहल इज दि सो लिमिटिंग रिजेंट लाइक दिस यू हव टू क्यालुलेट दे द फॉलोइंग कंपौंड हव द सेम वैल्यू ऑफ एंट ऑफ एक्ट्रेस दैट ऑफ एल टू एस एन फोर्थ राइस नो यू क्यालुलेट एल टू एस एन फोर्थ राइस सो टू एल थ्री प्लस प्लस एसओ फोर थ्री माइनस इज दे टू माइनस इज दे सो थ्री एसओ फोर टू माइनस टोटल टू प्लस थ्री हव मच I is equal to five here, five. In which case I is equal to five? Calculate one plus one, so I is equal to two. Here two plus one, I is equal to three. Here three plus one, I is equal to four. Here you can see if you dissolve this in the water, you are going to get four K plus plus FeCN six three minus. Four minus sorry four minus which means this is one ion and four ion so I is equal to five here so I is equal to five I is equal to five so the answer for this question is yeah.
Then density of the three molar solution, three m molarity. Remember, three molar solution of NaCl is given. The mass of the solvent in the solution they are asking. So in this particular case, so what? Wh wh how to tackle this type of question? Remember one thing here: mass of the solvent we want means we have to calculate mass of the solution, mass of the solution, and also mass of the solution to calculate they have given one point two five. So volume of the solution is three molar means liter, one liter. So mass of the solvent you have to calculate, right? So mass of the solvent is equal to. So mass of solvent is equal to. So mass of solution minus mass of solute. Very simple. Now first we calculate what is the meaning of three molar. Three m means remember three moles of which is the solute. 3 moles of remember NaCl in 1000 ml of solution 1000 ml of solution that is the meaning of molarity now you can see so first we calculate solution see mass of solution is equal to see which formula you have to use it here remember so Or density again, again the same thing. Density is equal to mass by volume. Mass is equal to density into volume. Density into volume will do. Density is how much? One point two five into volume is how much? Thousand ml. So how much you got? Thousand two hundred fifty gram. So one two five zero gram you got minus. Now three molar solution. Three moles of NaCl. See mole is equal to Mass divided by molecular mass. What we want? Mass we want, right? So mass of NaCl is equal to moles into molecular mass. Moles is three. Molecular mass of NaCl is how much? Na Na is twenty three. They will not give you. Have to remember, Cl is thirty five point five. Twenty three, thirty five point five. So fifty eight point five. Fifty eight point five. So here exact answer you have to calculate because thousand seventy five thousand seventy four difference is only one. So that is you have to be very careful because of that reason you have to calculate it very correctly and just simple calculation you can calculate very easily one seventy five point five gram you will get. So one seventy five point five and you are going to get the answer it as here thousand seventy four point five gram. So thousand seventy four point five gram is. Remember that is D. So like this you have to solve. So what way you have to tackle very important. Mass of solvent they have a solution minus solute. Mass of the solution you can calculate it by density. Density into thousand. Why have I taken thousand? Because molarity. Three molar means thousand ml solution. So three moles means three into fifty eight point five. So this answer, this answer minus this answer you will get the answer. Yes, very simple. So very very important type of question that is for comment K third question. And remember fourth one. 6.84 grams of sucrose here. Sucrose dissolved in 200 gram of water. The molality they are asking here. Molality. First we will see the molality formula. Molality is equal to mass divided by molecular mass of solute into thousand divided by so mass of solvent. Solvent in grams because I have written thousand above. Now. What is the mass? Mass is six point eight four. What is the molecular mass of mass of sucrose? Sucrose is remember C twelve H twenty two O eleven. So if you go on calculating this, it will consume time. So hence, what you have to do? At least glucose and sucrose you have to remember because whenever the question is asked on this molarity, molarity, more chances are there with this. So sucrose is remember three forty two gram. You can calculate it later. So three forty two gram. So three forty two into thousand divided by two hundred gram of water. Very simple calculation. You can see two hundred ones are two hundred five ones are. Correcta. Here you can see this is the relationship. Six eighty four three forty two. Six point eight four nothing but six eighty four three forty two two ones are two ones are. But six point is there. Hence what you have to do here zero point zero two you will get. Right. So zero point zero two into five is zero point one. So answer for this question is here. 0.1 molar small m is the molality then mass of glucose to be dissolved in 50 g of water to get 0.3 molal solution once again 0.3 molal solution is nothing but molality only use the same formula 
right here which is given point 3 is given here i will write that here see point 3 is given so mass of the glucose you have to calculate mass of the glucose you have to calculate molecular mass of the glucose is how much 180 remember that point glucose c 6 h 12 o 6 glucose so 180 into 1000 divided by 50 gram of water 50 gram of water correct so in this particular case here we want mass so here 50 ones are 50 or 20 is a so 5 to the 10 so 20 so mass is equal to here 0 0.3 into 180 divided by 20 correct so 20 ones are 29 sir. right 0.3 into 9 is how much so 2.7 is the answer so 2.7 gram is where is so c is the answer here so your mathematics calculation should be fast that is very important here now 5 gram of CaCO3 completely react with what is the amount of HCl? 5 gram of CaCO3 completely react with what is the amount of HCl? Now we will write the first reaction. CaCO3 when it reacts with HCl. Remember this is acid. This is CaCO3 carbonate salt. Hence you are going to get remember CaCl2 plus CO2 plus 2H2O. 2HCl you will write. And H2O we will get plus 2 HCl we want. So CaCl to CO2 plus H2O. Fine. If you don't write the product also no problem. But balance chemical equation important to HCl. Now you can say standard is how much? CaCO3 once again 100 gram. Very famous it is. CaCO3 calcium carbonate. If you don't give also you can calculate. 100 gram plus HCl is remember. Cl is 35.5 plus 136.5 into 2. So 36.5 into 2. That is 73 gram we will get. 73 gram we will get. Now 100 gram completely react with 73 gram. So 5 gram react with how much? Calculate. So 5 gram react with how much? So 5 into 73 divided by 100. See 5 into 73 <laughs> divided by 100. Right. 5 ones are 5 twenties. Correct. So now you can see 2 ones are here 73 is there. 73 half is how much? 36 like that. 36. Which means 20 is there. So 3.6 is the answer. 3.6 is the answer. Correct. Have you got? So 2 0. So 0 you keep it as it is. 2 1 is a 2. 3 is a 6. So 36 almost you will get. So 2 20 is there. 3.6. So answer is P. Then. The ebullioscopy constant is elevation and boiling point is induced, produced by. Ebullioscopy constant means remember KB. KB is produced by. Always remember here KB is depending on molality, not molarity. Molality that you one molal solution. Hence direct question it is remember molality. And once it was asked for KB for uh, uh, depression freezing point also that is KF that is also one molal solution. So remember molality is important in case of solutions chapter. Then highest osmotic pressure is shown by the solution of. So remember so osmotic pressure once again osmotic pressure directly proportional to i value i value that is vent of factor vent of factor is in which case it is more see vent of factor barium chloride means bacl2 bacl2 means i is equal to 3 ba and 2cl here mgcl2 mg and 2cl so i is equal to 3 kno3 i is equal to 2 because no3 minus k plus here you can see 2 aluminium 3 sulfate so i is equal to 5 very very important so if you are not uh, no, don't know how to calculate I value. I have made the separate video for this at the end. I have given so, or you can go for the playlist in the first PUC, uh, the chemtonics series. There you can see so I is equal to 5. So, I is equal to 5 means definitely answer is A. Then 4 gram of non volatile solution dissolved in 36 gram of water produces the RLVP relative lowering in vapor pressure of 0 0.1. The molar mass of the solute is. So remember, this is the formula, very simple. RLVP formula is what? So, P0 minus P divided by P0. So, it is equal to RLVP. Equal to. So, remember, in this particular case, uh, M1 W2, M2 W1. Very simple. So, M1 W2, right? M2 W1. So, wherever 2 is there, Solute. Remember, wherever 2 is there, solute. Wherever 1 is there, solvent. So, fine. 
So here RLVP is given 0 0.1. Correct? M1 is how much? 18 gram. Because water, 18 gram. Into W2 is how much? 4 gram. Divided by. So 0. Point, in the M2 you have to calculate. M2 into W1 is how much? 36 here. 36 here. Then you solve. M2 you take it this side and you can solve here. And if you solve this, you are going to get it as answer. Remember, M2 is equal to almost 20. You are going to get the answer. 20. So answer for this question is B. 20. So very simple. 18 ones are 18 twos are right. 2 ones are 2 twos are. So 2 divided by in this case M2 is equal to 2 divided by 0.1. 2 divided by 0.1 is equal to 20. So answer is 20. Then last question. The solution which produces the lowest depression in freezing point. Remember in this particular case depression in freezing point. So depression in freezing point. Depression in freezing point directly proportional to I value. Directly proportional to I value. Correct? Depression freezing point. I value if it is more, depression will be more. So more depression, more I value. So what they have asked? Less depression. So less depression, less depression proportional to less I value. Less I value, remember. Less I value is for which one? Concentration is same here, not necessary to worry. Then you can see. Potassium chloride means KCl. Potassium sulfate means K2SO4. E formula got Potassium chromate means, remember, K2CrO4. Chromate. Potassium sulfate means K2. Bo both are potassium sulfate only is given. Potassium nitrate we will take. Instead of sulfate, oh, see, nitrate is not necessary. Potassium phosphate will take. What is there? Potassium phosphate will take. So K3PO4. K3PO4. Potassium phosphate. Because both are same option. That is not the option. Answer. But I have taken different side. So out of this remember I value. I value for this is 2 plus 1. 3. I value for this is 2 plus 1. 3. I value this is 3 and PO4 1. So that is 4. But here I value is equal to 2. Remember. Potassium chloride is having two lesser the I value, less depression. More depression, more I value. Because depression and I value directly proportional. Or all colligative properties and I value directly proportional. So the answer for this question is remember A. 0.1 M potassium chloride. So I hope this is helpful for you. If you feel that it is helpful and I am going to continue this series till your comment K exams also. So if you like this you share to your friends also definitely they will get the use from this subscribe to my channel if you are listening to my channel for the first time thank you have a nice day